So in this video, I'm going to show how I came up with the design of this new CNC frame and then actually how I built the frame. Uh, the video will go over how I did the initial design in Google SketchUp and it also show me constructing this and putting it all together. And as you'll see in the video, a lot of building this was tinkering, putting things together, taking them apart, putting them back together in a better configuration. Um, and uh, that's the best way I like to do this. It, you learn on the fly. So the initial general design was done on SketchUp, but then the detailed design and the, the little nuances of it all was still found out while I was actually building it. What you see here is the Google SketchUp model of my CNC. And again, this wasn't to, to do detailed design, but just to get a general idea of what this machine was going to look like and what parts I needed to, to buy before I spent the money. Open Builds has got a great library of Google SketchUp models that you can download directly into your program to kind of model the, the system out before you start buying anything. And that's where I got all these models from. What you're about to see next is a speed build of me actually building the frame and figuring out how this is all going to go together on the fly. So at this point, I'll stop and I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, I've got these 80 millimeter plates from Open Builds, and I have mounted them on the aluminum extrusion. The only thing I didn't realize is that these 80 millimeter plates were specifically made for 20 by 80 aluminum extrusion, and I'm using 20 by 60 aluminum extrusion. So I had to go to the drill press and drill a few extra holes to get this to fit. Um, but it still works how I wanted it to. Um, I've got four wheels underneath the rail, four wheels above the rail, and I put uh, a 20 by 60 piece of aluminum extrusion on top, and I kind of let it hang over the back of the, uh, the gantry plate so that whenever the, uh, the CNC spindle is on it, the center of gravity will be closer to directly on these plates. So let's see if we can take a shot on the side of this and see. So here, you might be able to see, you get the wheels sandwiched in between these two plates, holding it on the rail, and it's real good and sturdy. This is the finalized design I came up for the X-axis. I've got eight wheels on top. Um, they're actually two wheels deep on the C, C aluminum extrusion, and then I've got four wheels on the bottom, keeping it pinched together, and that'll give me a lot of good rigidity and uh, to resist any moment effects that might be caused by the router cutting into wood or something like that. The CNC frame is complete. I built this using all open builds, uh, linear rail and plates, screws, all of it came from open builds. There's a few 
hardware store brackets here and there, but in general, 90% of it's from the open builds part store, which it all turned out really very well. This is a lot better than the last CNC frame I had. It's a lot more rigid. There's a lot more clearance on the Z axis, which will help for projects. And it's got a lot more wheels and a lot sturdier construction. So the frame's just a lot better. Very happy with how this all went. Uh, the next video I will show hooking up all my electronics, the programming, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Thank you very much for watching.